obviously showing that it was the, the whole it was it was the son Jesus Christ who was God that came in the flesh. But it doesn't refer to the Father ever coming in the flesh. You, you won't see it anywhere in scripture. Isaiah chapter nine verse six. What does it say? Yeah, the scripture. Okay. <laughs> it's cold. You getting cold? Nah, my Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Thank I you hear the neighbor is sick. Sorry, sorry. What's up? What was the scripture? Isaiah nine verse six. Is that? unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called. Wonderful counsel, Almighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Yeah. Mm. Who is the here, son? Sorry? Who is the son here? Son. Who is the son? Oh, yeah. What do you mean, who is the son? Like, who is, the who son? is he talking about? Yeah. Yes, son. He's talking about Jesus. Yeah. Then yes. who is the everlasting Father? That's his father. Here it says, For to us a child is born, yes. and for us son is given, and the power will be on. Mm. His shoulder and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Mm. This is it. He will be called Everlasting Father. Then mm. what does Jesus do then? He is the Everlasting yes. Father. And, and, and these, these, were, these, were, these were titles and characteristics that he held while he was here on earth. You just said his father is talking about... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Who? Is he talking Christ about Jesus Christ or God the Father Jehovah? If you ask a question, you got to let me answer. You can't keep cutting me off. Let me finish, please. So when you look at that, it's talking about his character and the titles that he holds while he's here on earth. He was the Prince of Peace. Everything that he spoke of in Deuteronomy. I ask you, the Father. Let me finish it. Let me finish it. Please. No. Please. I, I am. I am. Let me finish. So in Deuteronomy chapter 18, it talks For about me, how the... What I understood, I, I, I can understand is, now Prophet Isaiah prophesied, Everlasting Father, I'm going to let you finish, but you're going to have to let me finish. Mighty okay? God, the Father, will come as a son and child. That was Jesus Christ. Okay. So who is Jesus? Jesus is everlasting as a father. Okay. Can I say that? You're going to let me finish. Please. You're not listening. Huh? You're not listening. I am. So in Deuteronomy chapter 18, right? It talks yeah, about how the... Let me ask you someone. I really want to know. Then what, what do you do at your <coughs> church? What do we do at our church? Mm -hmm. A lot of things, you gotta be more specific. We go outreaching, we share the gospel, we read the Bible, we fellowship together. Mm. You gotta be specific, like what do you mean? Like we, okay, when, when do you get up? Every Saturday. day? Oh, Saturday. Oh, 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 Saturday. Oh, Tuesday, Saturday. Thursday, so you get up Saturday. Saturday. Saturday or Saturday? No, I don't believe in Sabbath. What I believe mean? Sabbath is in the Bible, but should we keep in the New Covenant? No. Yes. Yes. I oh, know you're saying yes. Matthew chapter 24. Yep. What did you just say? Which verse pray, 19? Pray, your fly. It might not be the Sabbath. Oh. Why? Yes. Because the Sabbath is was it, the establishment it? of the law. Then, Sabbath is important in the youth. You know what? You're right. Sabbath is, is important. Do you keep the Sabbath? Do you just say that word. Do you just say clearly, pray, your fly will not take on Sabbath. Okay, praise the Lord. Can I ask you something about the Sabbath, right? And also, what, what do you do? On the Sabbath day? No, no. Anyway, you look at the Sabbath day, I know, I let go. Yeah. What about, because uh, actually, yeah, because, because us, many times you, 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 many times you, yes. many times you, huh? yeah. we just meet all throughout the week. Yeah, yeah. we can meet so, any day, but uh, yeah. keep, because God said, keep the Sabbath day holy. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, and also, sorry, so, I know you are going to keep in the Christmas. No, no, no. No, you don't keep the Christmas. No, when I say Christmas holiday, uh, just I just mean, keep the family. Yeah, just yeah. Because, because family Christmas is not. Because they, they don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we believe that. Okay, that's good. Don't keep the Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but neither should you keep the Sabbath because you can't. Hmm? You shouldn't keep the Sabbath either because you can't. We have to keep the Sabbath. Okay. Do you know how to keep the Sabbath? Can you show me? Do you just say don't keep the Sabbath. Give me one second, yeah? So, <laughs> you, you, you say, don't keep the Sabbath. You gotta allow me to speak. Because you keep throwing all the questions, but you won't allow me to answer them. You gotta have the spirit of meekness and, and not be so prideful. Have some humility, yeah? Cool. So, Sabbath. 
in keeping the Sabbath, there's so many things in there that it tells you to do that you can't actually keep. Evening to evening. Right? Sunset to sunset, that's Sabbath. It also says that if you break the Sabbath, that you should be killed. Does the Bible say that? Exodus chapter 31. Have you broken the Sabbath? There's the Old Testament. Hold on a second. Where do you get Sabbath from? You started from the new or the old? Old. That's where it started, right? Is it about rest? Is Sabbath about rest? Old Testament. Is Sabbath about keeping it holy? Old Testament. Is Sabbath about uh, 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 a day that's set apart? What was holy, sanctified? So you now you want to tell me the Sabbath? If I keep the Sabbath, I have to keep the Sabbath for life? The Old Testament. Yes, because that's where it starts from. Really? Yes. Then what about other feasts? Other, so other festivals. So, so for me, right? What about our other festivals? Let me answer. Let me what answer. about other festivals? Let me answer your question. Let me answer. Mm. So all these festivals, new moons, they cease. We don't keep any of them. We're not supposed to. Because you, you keep Passover, right? Even then, there's a certain way of keeping with the menorah and everything. There's a very specific way of keeping the Passover. The reason why I'm talking about Sabbath is, did you know that it says that you're not allowed to leave your house on Sabbath day? This Old Testament, Jesus showed how to keep the Sabbath. What did he, what did he do on Sabbath mm -hmm. day? He went to the synagogue. Yeah. He read the Bible. Yeah. This is how we keep the Sabbath. Are you allowed to cook food on Sabbath day? Yes. You're allowed to? Yeah, can I show you? you yeah, show me. Like Jesus, Jesus and disciples, they ate. The, what's that, the, the, the reason why I'm asking is because you would draw your source actually, from the Old Testament. Excuse me. Yeah. We don't keep the Old Covenant Sabbath, but we keep the New Covenant Sabbath, okay? So where's that? Same day. No, no, where's the, where's the New Covenant Sabbath? In the Bible. Where, where, where's the New Covenant Sabbath? That's it, I will make a New Covenant. Yeah. 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 But where's the New Covenant Sabbath? I believe it's the New Covenant. Yeah. She just kept the Sabbath day. He didn't keep the Sabbath day like You the, made a statement. There's a New Covenant Sabbath. So where is you that? You want to looking for the word. No, not for the word, the understanding. Jesus kept all the words. I don't give straw man mm. arguments. Like when someone says, show me when the... Show me the understanding of New Testament Sabbath. Show me like your understanding of it. Why do you want to see? Because you just asked, you just, yeah. you made a statement. Yeah. Every time you make an assertion, you have to back it up by the Bible. Then, Matthew chapter 24. Yep. Yeah. Verse 20. So for you, Sabbath is not important in the New Testament time, right? It's not important. Matthew chapter 24, verse 20. Yep. Pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on the Sabbath day. What in your Bible? Uh, what verse is it, sorry? Oh yeah, 20. Pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on the sa on a Sabbath. Not in person, right? No. Okay. It's okay. So what's your what's your understanding? You don't you don't believe what you just say. Hmm? Oh, bless. Oh, bless you. Christian? Yes. Hey, praise God. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, eh? Amen. So what's your How understanding? Can you say it's not important? Even to just say I can break word. it down. I can I can I can break it down and I can show you that it's not for today. But if you won't allow me the time and you just walk away, then you're never gonna know. No, I don't want to know. I know because you, you have a set presupposition. You won't because Bible clearly tells us keep the Sabbath day holy. It doesn't there is no word to just say in the Bible say don't keep the Sabbath. It doesn't say keep the Sabbath day holy. Can you show me Bible says don't keep the Sabbath? I pray that your can fly you may not me? be in the winter of the Sabbath. Can you show me don't keep the Sabbath day? It you... says and pray that your flight be not in the winter of the Sabbath, right? Can you show me the Bible don't, don't say keep the Sabbath, Sabbath anymore? Do you believe the Sabbath was part of the Old Covenant? Like it was a law under the old covenant. I believe there is the, the festival I established. Yeah. Sabbath day and the seven feasts I established old covenant. So do you believe the Sabbath day but, is under the old covenant? Yeah. Yes? Do you believe? But they, are we that's why I want to tell you is there is a new covenant Sabbath, there's an old covenant Sabbath. Passover also is an old covenant Passover, new covenant Passover. Mm -hmm. Sabbath day was the same. What's your name? I didn't even get your name. What's your name? Tim. Tim. Gabriel. Did I tell you my name? Tim. How did you come into the faith? We'll, we'll stop. Sorry. We'll stop this for a second. How did you come into the... What's the name of your faith? 
from the Bible. No, no, what's the name of your church? Church of God. Church of God, okay. Yeah. So how did you... How did you... Did were you... Did you said you were something else before, right? Were you um, Catholic or something? Yeah. Were you Catholic before? So how did you come to Church of God? I can say Catholic is wrong. I, 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 oh, I agree with you. I agree yeah, with you. Okay, we're not Catholic. Yeah, we're not Catholic. So we're I agree with you. Just asking, like, what's your background? Yeah, what's your story? How did you come to Church of God? Through the prophecy. No, I mean, like, did someone share the gospel? Yeah, of course. Okay. And that's what I'm asking. I know we all believe Bible, but, like, did you, someone from on the street talk to you, or? Mm. How long have you been in faith? Why are you asking this question? Because this is going to lead to a lot of argument. It's better that we can talk in Christ. True? True? Mm. The Bible talks about having that humility, hey, right? Hey. Can you show me from the Bible? From the Bible, what we have to do? What we have to do? Oh, a lot of things. Hmm. So there's, there's, you ask me now. Now you ask me, and then you speak. Now you ask me, right? You just you, ask me a question. You ask me. No, I didn't ask you, question. You, you ask me. You just said, "What does the Bible say we have to do?" That's what I'm answering. You just said. That. I didn't say. I said they told me what what I have to do. Oh, the Bible. I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Either. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I thought you were asking me a question. No, 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 sorry, I, yeah. I misunderstood that as yeah. well. Yeah. Sorry. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. You ask me what they what they show me, right? What, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We misunderstood. Yeah, I thought you were asking me a question. Sorry. Well. They told me what question. I have to do. Yep, yeah. yep. Because father and mother. Yes. Get the pass over. You come on it. Step up, say, you come on it. Yeah. And receive baptism in three names in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay. Everything was written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me how I came to the page? No, I don't want to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. No? <laughs> no? So I guess you're already set in your ways. You know, you're not, you're not willing to learn about the truth of the Bible. I believe. I know the truth. I've been saved. Because what the Church of God showed me was many churches, they say, they, they, they have so many different inter, 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 like interpretation. So many interpretation. But yeah. actually what I found out was they interpret by themselves. For Church of God, they established by Christ and Sang who is the second coming Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ and Sang mm -hmm. he came in the flesh yeah. according to the prophecy of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Bible clearly shows us which year he has to come and what he will do. Hold on a second. You just said mm -hmm. that everybody else they have their own Interpretation is by one person. You just said the same thing about your one. I'm talking wrong. Yeah, that because, was one person. Because, because that's a double standard. No, no, no. Yeah. I say they, they, they interpret by themselves. Church people, Christ and Sangho, mm. we believe he is who second coming Jesus. So who interpreted? Did he interpret that? Two thousand years. Double standard. Two thousand years. See what you just done. Two thousand years ago, who taught the disciples Bible? Did the disciples learn the Bible by themselves? No. Who taught them? The Holy Spirit. It was Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, he was only there for 33 years and then he ascended. So, obviously, 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ Holy taught Spirit. them. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ taught them the Bible. Yeah. Right. That's no. why Paul many says, follow my example as I follow the Christ. Mm -hmm. He learned from the Christ. Mm -hmm. Then we also say, we learn from the yeah. Christ. Not human. So you made a statement, right? That everybody else learns their own interpretation. It's okay. Now you're asking me to argue with me. No, I'm, I'm asking this. You can't make statements about everybody else and then in your own double standard, you're saying, but An San Hong, he was the one that... You're saying... That's why, then, 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 how do I know? Then, they say An San Hong is second coming Christ? Who said that? Church of God. They say that he's the second coming. Yeah. When I met them, mm -hmm. when I met them, when they stayed with me, yeah. they showed me this, uh, this teaching, mm -hmm. 
that who taught you this one is Christ and Zhang Wong. Who is he? He's second coming Jesus. God came in the place again. To show me, they prove me why he is a God. Why he's the second coming Jesus. And from the prophecy they show me, showed me. So they showed you prophecy. Which prophecy? When Jesus would come second time, the where he would come. See, they showed you from the Bible that Han San Hong is the mm. second coming mm. in the flesh mm. of Jesus again. Yeah. So when when did they show you in the Bible? Many many scriptures. Can you show me what? No. No. Would you believe if I show you? Well, no one. It says that Christ is coming back. But you're telling me it's Han San Hong. Then can I show you one verse? Yes, please. Now they, I will show you just one verse. Maybe I can show you. But where does the salvation come from in the last day? Salvation always comes from Jesus. In the relation to seven, it talks about the seven? seed of God. Is this about the salvation? Yes. Verse. One to one, one to you can read until just to maybe until two is enough. Um, after these things, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. You mind the right one? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea. You know? Saying, do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. So what is he talking about? What is this wind that's blowing on the everywhere? I'm not sure. He's talking about last disaster. Last tribulation. Mm -hmm. That's why if you look at verse 17, Verse uh, for, for, if, you, if you look at verse 14. 14? Yeah. And I said to him, Sir, you know, so he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So Tokyo is Tokyo talking last day, basically. So what Lamb is that talking about? Jesus Christ. So how come that's not the same as the other Lamb? Yeah. How come that Lamb isn't the same as the one in chapter 21? What do you mean? Because you said this one's about Jesus, right? Yeah. Throughout the book of Revelation, that lamb is only referred to as Jesus. How come the one in chapter 21 is not Jesus? I say it's a Jesus. I didn't say it's not Jesus. The one in chapter 21? Yeah. It's somebody else. Oh, it's the bride or somebody else? Sorry. The bride is not the church. Yeah. It's mother of God. So maybe it's a Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it's Jesus. Definitely. So, yeah, that's okay. Therefore, am I keeping my story? So, here that's okay. So, it's a basically talking about last day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great tribulation. We must be saved. How can we, how can we see salvation? Here, Bible clearly tells us how we put the seal of God on the foreheads of God's people. Right? Yeah. So, we must receive this seal. If we miss out to receive this seal of God, we cannot receive salvation. Right? Then from where did the seed of God coming from? Where does the seed of God coming from? The word of God? The seed? The seed of God here. Just from the Bible, verse 2. Then I saw another angel coming up from Norway. From the east. Yeah. Is it from the east? Hmm. The east is where? Is it talking about America? Is it talking about Europe? Is it talking about Africa? I, East, I believe he's talking about Asia because here to say east to north to west there must be first the standard place right then where did John wrote his revelation in the island of Pamos it's in the middle of the world right from the east where Asia. so you mean the the seal came from the east mm. well, verse 2 it says the angel got it from the Lord from God yeah, it came from where? It came from God. And so then here. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, 
having the soul of yes. the living God. So yes. the soul came from God. Where it is, from yes. Talking about the angel. Yeah. So from the angel. The yeah, from the east. Yeah. From the east. Yeah, no, but the angel got from the angel, God. Angel, angel, he carried from the God. Then from where would he appear? From the east. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, okay. yeah this is what I mean. Mm. That's why, when I, that's why when I look at this one, if the, some doctrine teaches come from the West, I don't believe. Okay, that's good. I don't believe from the West or East or North, I just believe Bible. Mm. Must yes. come from the East. Wait, every doctrine that comes from the West is false? Hmm? You're saying that every, every doctrine that comes from the West is false? Then you shouldn't be reading Even the, the church, because here, it's a verse 1, it's after this. So what is here after? You shouldn't be reading this Bible, it's from the West. After? What is after referred to? Are you hearing me? Hmm. Is you, you're talking about the is not from The Bible is not from the West. Sorry. It, it is. My Bible, this one is written in the East. Yeah. From Korea. Sorry. No, 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 no. All this stuff started from the West. No. Yeah, you're reading NIV. Mm. It was printed in maybe the East. Excuse but me, it, I'm not talking about the Bible. Yeah. I say doctrine. Doctrine Inter is Bible. Interpretation. No, Bible yeah. is not doctrine. Bible is the word of God. Doctrine is a, the teaching the made, teaching, by, yes. made by human. Mm. I believe word of God, not mm. teaching. Uh, what I mean is the teachings from, came from the West, I don't believe. So who came from the East? I just told you. Who? Ansan Hong? So it doesn't say his name, you just... So what is there a name Jesus in the Old Testament? Can you show me? What's that? Is there a name Jesus in the Old Testament? Is there answer wrong in the Old Testament? Is there Jesus in the New Te Old Testament? No, but he's there. I ask you first. Yeah. Is there name not Jesus? The name. No, not the name. Yeah, not the name, but the Bible prophesy location. Mm -hmm. Right. From where he will come. And yeah, how he will come. Right. Where is the location? Bethlehem. Yep. Right. There's already prophesy in the Bible. Yep. But it didn't clearly say Jesus. Yeah. Right. Okay. What about his, his second coming? Same. But he will come with a different name. Is there gonna be is there gonna be another Bible that we go by? No. If you look at Revelation chapter two, three? Two. Chapter three. Chapter three. Mm. Verse twelve. He who comes I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. Mm. His name. Whose mm. name is this new name? It's not Ansan Hong, I can tell you that. Mm. Hey, hey, but I, I ask you, whose yes. new name is this new name? Well, it's the name of God, right? Okay, but if this new name is a whose name? Who's my here? Jesus, right? What, I question? here, my, refer, I will also write on it my new name. Yes. Who is my here referred to? God. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Mister, he will give us a new name. Yeah. yeah. I just show you another prophecy. Yes, please. Because you show me the prophecy. Please, show me another prophecy. Yeah. So, here, the name is not Jesus, but must be different the name. There's what? Must be different. Must be different? Yeah. Yeah. Can we receive salvation by Jesus' name in this case? No. <laughs> it's by new name. Okay, so, so how do you get the new name? How can I do this new name? I have to see the prophecy. Which way from where he would come, when he would come, what uh, when he would come, and what he would do. Mm. Everything was already prophesied in the Bible. Is Ansan Hong a man? Of course. Did he die? Yeah. So is he coming back? Yeah. So Jesus said he's coming back, right? Mm -hmm. Christ and Son Hong died, no one knew of him. He said when Jesus comes back, every eye will see him. Mm -hmm. Every knee shall bow. Do you know in the Old Testament he said every eye will see him? Mm -hmm. so how many eyes saw Jesus Christ when he was born? Wait, which which scripture are you talking about? In the in the Old Testament it already prophesied that all every eyes will see his, when he comes. Which scripture is that? Mm -hmm. In the Old Testament it already prophesied. Wait. I can't remember which scripture, but already it was prophesied in the oh, Bible, yeah, Old yeah. Testament. That's that, why... That when Jesus comes, every eye will see him. No, no, no. In the Old Testament, it already prophesied when Jesus comes. He will come with a great glory. 
Yeah. Yeah. And every I will see him. Yeah. But well, was it really happen like that? That's not talking about when he came to earth. Yes. No. Whenever he comes in that great, great glory, remember John 17 verse 5, when did he receive that glory? I, I, After he had finished his ministry. John 17 verse 5. Mm. You want to go to it? John chapter 17 verse 5. So we go to John chapter 17. Are you going there? Yeah, you still with us? Tim? Verse 5? No? I'll read it to you anyway. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So what does that mean to you? <laughs> hmm? You told me story for a long time you weren't listening. Hmm. You accuse me of not listening. You got to be the same. John 17 verse 5. Why are you giving me that though? Because you're talking about the great glory that he comes with, right? John 17 verse 5. Hmm. Want to read? Yes, yeah, five. Hmm. When is that glory revealed? When is that same glory of God revealed? That's after he ascends. So he comes back again. He comes in, when he comes back again in the book of Jude, he comes with that glory. Right? So that glory isn't a revealing of when he's in the flesh. The glory is only revealed after he comes back for judgment. So you believe Jesus didn't come with the glory? No. You don't believe? No. In 17, same chapter, verse 10. 17 verse 10. What does yes. it say? All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. them. Eh? First ten, all high is yours, and all you have is mine, eh? Yes. Has, come to me, to the him. Yes. He already received the glory. Good. Jesus Christ. No, he's talking about the future. He says that they're going to be glorified through him. Because he's about to die on the cross. Has come to me through it. Yes. Has come to me. Do, do, can people come to Jesus after before he gets to the cross? Jesus has come to me. Yeah. So that means that means only the people. Have a, in that he time. already had a glory two thousand years ago. Mm. So, that, so you're saying that it was only the people of that time, his disciples. That means everybody else after the cross, none of us matter anymore. That's your interpretation. Mm. Because this glory is after he does what he does on the cross, not before. Does that make sense? Look, listen to this, uh, verse 10. And all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. So the acts of what we do now is because of what it does on the cross. So you, you, you think Jesus didn't come with the glory? No, but verse 5 says that he gets that glory after he finishes. He came in the place, there was not the glory of God. No. Not, not the glory of God. No. He wasn't. That's what he says here. And now, Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before. So is that the same glory? Okay, then, can you tell me what I have to do to receive salvation? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart. I believe in Jesus. Your mouth. Yeah. Not believing in Jesus has I to believe have, in him. Has, you have to have a proper theology behind you as well. Really? Yeah. With a proper theology, you cannot believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, of course not. No. Or a very metally. Because like this. Or a Peter, John. Did they have a proper theology? Yeah, they yeah, did. They did. They did. The the man. So you, so, so, so you said they had a proper you theology. You said that you don't believe in Catholic people, right? Yeah. So then, um, hey, but, but, but excuse me. Thank you. Excuse thanks. me. Two yeah. thousand years ago, who received Jesus Christ? They're the poor people, uneducated yeah. people. How can you say you need to do When he says theology, when I, say theology I don't mean you, you have to go to Bible theology? college. When he says theology, you have pro proper theology. Yes. Yeah, proper theology. Really? When he says theology, he just means they believe in Jesus, God, and rose 
from the dead, just the basic principles of yeah, salvation. Not, not going to Bible college. I, yeah, I, that's no, not what I'm trying to say. So what I'm trying to say is like, doctrine. If, you, if you, you don't believe that the Catholic people's doctrine, you believe it's wrong, right? But many of them would say, but I believe in Jesus Christ. They all profess the Trinity. They profess in, in Jesus Christ with their Lord and Savior. So do you. But then why, how do you now say that they're wrong? Because you go by the word, right? So in chapter 2 verse 1. No, 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 that's it. You go by the word, right? Me too. So then we, you'd have to try and establish your foundation and what, what is truth by the word, not by our fear. True? First John chapter 2 verse 1. First John chapter 2? Where are we? Second John. Did you say First John chapter two verse twelve? First, first one, I guess. Verse one. Oh. Oh, sorry, chapter two. First John chapter two, verse three. Three. Yes, now by this we know that we know Him. He will keep His commandments. Yes. yes. The man who say I know Him, but does not do what He commands, is a liar, and the truth is not in Him. Mm. Mm. Amen. Then okay, what I have to do? To what? John chapter 6 verse 53. Wait, wait, what? what? Which one? John chapter 6 verse 53. John chapter 6 verse 53. Verse 53. Yep. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Yes. 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 So? This is what you just said, right? Yep. yep. I will raise him with the last day when he eats my flesh and drink my blood. Mm. Mm. Just I will tell you the truth. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 And unless you the flesh of Son of Man bring his blood, you have no life in you. Amen. We have to obey his command. If yeah, we have to eat his flesh and blood, then how can we eat his flesh and blood? Just to believe? Well, faith without works is dead. Yeah, then we have to eat. What yeah, do we eat then? The word. He said, eat my flesh and blood. Yeah. How yeah. can we eat his flesh and blood? Well, it's not physical. Yeah, Matthew chapter 26. It's spiritual because we Matthew don't know where the body is. Sorry? Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26. What verse? Verse 17. Yep. Now on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying to him, Where do you want us to pray? For you to eat the Passover. Yeah. And verse 26. Same chapter? Mm. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then, yes. And also 27. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to the same, drink from it, all of it is in my flow of the common love, which is for the full yes. for the full of sin. So, what do we have to eat? Bread. And wine. We did yes. symbolize your flesh and blood. Yeah, I agree. Okay, which bread and wine? Any bread and wine? Yeah, from the shop. Which bread are you talking about? From the shop. There's physical and there's spiritual, right? Wait, wait, Why is this bread and wine talking about? No, no, because you're talking about communion, yeah? Passover. You're I'm talking not about talking Passover. about communion. Talk about Passover. Yeah, the bread is the Jesus, thing, right? and the blood is We Jesus. know spiritually yeah, that the bread is they, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. We have to eat, right? Yes, yes, we have to eat it, physically. I'm trying yeah. to understand physically whether right. you mean physically or spiritually. Yeah, yeah, we have to eat this bread and wine. And do you eat the Passover bread and wine? Do you yeah. eat this Passover bread and wine? Yeah. When do you yeah. eat this Passover yeah. bread and wine? Yeah. When? Well, the Bible says, do it often and remember something. That's what Jesus says. No. Yeah, one Corinthians chapter 11. Let's, let's go to there. Yeah, we'll get to it. Oh. Bible has to be something. <laughs> She's still <tricky. laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, sir. I will start from verse 23. 26, what? you want to read the 26. For whenever you eat this bread and drink, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Yeah. Whenever you eat this bread and this cup, and does he mean eat the bread and wine whenever you want to? Yeah, verse 25, you just missed it. In the same manner, he also takes the, the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup, the new, test, the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. I knew what you say as often, right? Yeah. My Bible said, Whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Yeah, so whenever, or, whenever, whenever you eat. Same thing. Yeah. Whenever. Okay, okay. What is this bread and wine referred to? Is it referred to any bread and wine or Passover bread and wine? Passover bread and wine. Okay, when is Passover bread? I don't know. This is written in the Bible. There is date of the Passover. I know. Yeah. But your Bible says whenever. Yeah. So whenever you eat the Passover bread and wine, if I say whenever you eat the cake, you celebrate, you, whenever you yeah. eat the cake with a candle, yeah. you celebrate your birthday. Does it mean it a, oh, does it sorry. does it mean uh, does it mean does it mean eat the birthday cake whenever you want to and celebrate your birthday? Whenever you eat the birthday cake with a candle, mm -hmm. you can celebrate your birthday. Yeah. You say whenever That's you eat the bread and wine, then does it mean whenever you eat the pass of bread and wine, you proclaim Lord's death until come? So when should we eat this bread and wine? So when Jesus done it, when did he say to do it? Hmm? When did he say to do it? So what, what, what day in the year is prescribed? Oh, it's every year different because now we are using solar calendar. We are not using the sacred calendar. Yeah, I know. Passover so is the 14th, year, 14th, 14th of the Nissan. Huh? 14th of the Nissan. Every year different. 14th what? 14th of the Nissan. Nissan is the... Yeah. So, what, so what, 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 what month is that on, on the second calendar? It's March or April in our calendar. Okay, cool. March or April. But the school doesn't take away that when Jesus had said it, when he said it often, can I say often or whenever? Is that more than once in a year? It's not. So every time you interpret often or whenever... Can, can you read again? In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Hmm. So when are we supposed to remember of Jesus? So it means you drink as much as you want to. Did you just say drink it as much as you want to? So he's saying to drink as much wine as you want to. Hmm. But then the Bible says that if you drink too much wine, you get drunk. I, I, I'm asking you, does it mean drink this wine as often as you want to? No. Yeah. He's talking about the sitting there of doing it, do it often. But do it as often as you used to drink it in remembrance of me. Jesus wanted to take away a tradition. He wanted to take away a tradition so that he can be led by the Spirit. True? It wasn't all about it. All the Pharisees that came against him said, you have to keep this, you have to do that. He said to them, because of your tradition, you make the law of God to know. So you do the communion like whenever you want to. Yeah. Where does the Bible say to it whenever you want oh, to? Right there. It doesn't say to it whenever you want to. Well, you can say it doesn't, but in your Bible it says... No, even in your Bible it, says, it doesn't say drink it as often as you want to. So when did the Bible say the same thing? What? It says whenever. Whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Yeah. yeah. So whenever you drink this this one, you remember. Yeah. So so when should we remember? Every year we do Passover. Yeah. That day we remember, we can remember. Should we only remember Jesus once a year? Always, always we remember. So then how come you don't do it all the time? Do you need to eat the bread and wine to remember sacrifice of Jesus? But that's what you're saying, that you need no. bread and wine to remember Jesus. But when we eat this bread and wine, we can remember once again because we drink his blood. So what's the difference when you don't eat it? So you do whenever you want to. No, I'm asking. So what's the difference for when you do eat it and remember him, and when you don't eat it and remember him? What's the difference? Because remember, Jesus came for the spiritual. But Jesus said, he, Jesus said, the difference is Jesus said, eat. Yeah, of course, I agree. Hmm. I agree. Then we have to do it on the day Jesus told us to do it. Yeah. Did Jesus show us the example? So eat the bread and wine whenever we want to. She just I shared the bread and wine many times. Yeah. Not even at the Last Supper. But he never mentioned that he's a bread and wine. But only on the Passover day, mm -hmm. he said this, this bread and wine depends on my flesh and blood. Why? Yeah. Because Jesus is a Passover mm -hmm. lamb. He came to this as a Passover mm -hmm. lamb. But it's the same thing with Sabbath. What, what did Jesus do on the Sabbath day? Can I say, 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Oh, 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 oh. What did Jesus do on the Sabbath day? 
He teach people with the word of God. What was that? He teach the people with the word of God. Did he heal people as well? Did he heal people? He healed the sick. Did he, Did he heal the sick? Did he cleanse lepers? Did, so was he doing all these things on the Sabbath day? What did he do Why different? Yeah, no, no, it's going to relate, it's going to relate. So what did he do differently every other day? So if he done that on the Sabbath day, what did he do differently every other day? Let's just say Monday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. I know it's a different calendar, but just for example. What did he do different from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Okay, then, hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Your mark, eh? Have it. Anyway, different, right? We are different, but we believe it's different, right? Different doctrine, yeah. Uh, different. Then it's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You can do this one, I will do this one. It's, it's okay. I don't want to argue anymore. I don't want to argue anymore. Not to you. Anyway, anyway I, can, I can see this conversation is not going to finish. Because my, you cannot change my faith. I cannot change your faith. That's yeah. Right. I mean, like that's okay. So yeah, there please is a pray for me. I will pray for you too. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Okay. Pray that you do know the truth. I pray for you. You do. You believe in the truth. Yeah. Okay. You know that's okay. Please only go by the Bible, not by all of man's opinions. Read it for yourself. Yeah, I only look at the Bible. That's why I told you I don't do. We don't do any you, pagan. You never learned about Mother God until somebody told you. No, you never knew that Mother so God. So you Father understood God. by yourself, yourself the Bible. Sorry? You you understood the Bible by yourself. Yes. When they taught good me job. the fundamentals. Okay. Good people job. taught me. Don't, don't get me job. wrong. People taught me fundamentals. You, you did good job. But then I read for myself. And so then you never knew that Mother God, which is why I'm saying to you, if no if, if no one ever told you that, unless there's someone preaching to you, how can you know the truth? Yeah. Exactly. If people start to make up things and bring it to the Bible, if someone has to preach the gospel, then you of can course. know. Of course. You cannot say that's wrong. Sorry? You cannot say that was wrong. Mm. So preach it to me about Heavenly Mother. So let me know, Heavenly Mother. It's alright. Yeah. Well, you're right with this. You said someone preached the gospel. Heavenly Mother's not in the gospel. That's what you think. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what I think. But it's also. <laughs> that's what you think. For me, it's a. Yeah. Correct. Now our church okay. is a, in every country. It doesn't determine whether your faith is right. If, of course. Just because you know the Mormons, they have a lot. Jehovah's Witness, they have a lot. They're they, wrong. They, they, <laughs> oh no, I believe they're wrong. But then how come you can say that to them, but no one's allowed to criticize you? For me as a born-again Christian... You can Christian, criticize me. There are many churches that criticize us. It's okay. I mean, for me as a born-again Christian, I can stand for my faith. And I can well, what, what, what I believe, anyway, what I believe is, yep. I believe as a father. Mm-hmm. The life comes from father and mother. This is how God created this world. Yeah. So for me, it really makes sense. Okay, people, there is no mother. Where are even people? though, even though the Bible says that life only comes from Jesus, life only comes from God. You, because you made the statement, there is no life. Is the, the Bible if, says, if, no. Bible says the, if you look at Genesis, yep. the um, why did God create Eve? Why did God create Eve? Adam represents Jesus Christ. Helper. Adam represents Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. You, you ask question. Why did he take yeah. him? As like a Adam, helper? Adam represents Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then, I himself, Adam, could give life. How could a creator like this? God, mm. God made it. So who does he so represent? Evil represents church. You want to say this one, right? Okay. Evil represents church. Do you want to say this? No, 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 no. I don't believe he represents anyone. Really? No. Actually, Bible tells us that you represent church too. Where is that? Uh, I think it's the Galatians. The Bible clearly tells us the how 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 it was deceived yeah. by the the serpent snake. Yes, yes. At the time, why 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 is she was deceived? Because Adam was not with her. Yes. Likewise, Satan always come to us when Jesus Christ is not with us. When he says that he was deceived, because he's talking about women being silent. True. So straight after it's talking about women that so they should be silent evil repre- because it was Eve that was deceived. Any, 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 anyway, so sorry, I, I didn't want to talk about this one anyway. Yeah, you went out of context. Yeah. Yeah. So what I mean is, if 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 the name meaning of Eve is a lie, if she's the mother of us, mother of all the living. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so, so, she's the mother of all the demons. So, I believe, oh, okay, always there is a father, but there is a mother. Abraham and Sarah. And Adam also has a gift. Always there is a woman who gives life. How come Mary is not the mother? Mary is not the mother. Oh, actually, even through miracles show us, oh, there must be mother to receive life. So we don't say Mary, because Mary is got the mother. Mm. Life, yeah, no, that's what I'm asking. Life, life, life cannot come without mother. Even when Jesus came to this uh, in the flesh, to her mother. Then through this God wants to show it's a mother. The bird has a mother, father and mother, animal has a father and mother, fish, even the plants, they all have father and mother. Yeah. Your spirit also has father yeah, and mother. Yeah. This is the one I, what I believe, but if you don't believe it's okay. No, no, I'm saying, if you don't, you if, you, if, you, if, you, if you don't believe it's okay. What was his purpose? That's okay. I don't want to argue anymore. I know because you gotta learn to defend your faith. Okay. I'm okay. gonna leave you with this tip before you go, right? That's if you can't okay. defend I your faith, anyway. you gotta go back and read your Bible. Because if you can't stand against people who can criticize your faith, before you know what you, you, you what you told me, you say let's yeah. talk without the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right. That's I just told you without Bible. You go, is that if you can't defend your faith, then you gotta know where this error. I defend I my faith out, with the Bible. So, so I pointed out multiple areas that you can't I, I don't have to defend my faith. Look, I'll let you speak, but you gotta just let me finish, right? Mm. If, if, I've told, if, if I've pointed out multiple errors, then that's good for you to go back and read. Likewise with me, you point out any errors with me, and I go back and I read and I try and understand in context. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to hit you or anything, is that if we see something that's error with what we believe, we gotta go back and look into it. Would you agree? Because I asked a few questions that you couldn't answer. You know what I mean? You asked me a few questions to be honest with you, I answered all of them. <laughs> you say like this. Well I'm asking you, is there any that I didn't answer? I asked about city, you didn't answer that. I right? answered to your city. I answer to your city is God. But well, you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to, this city refers to God Almighty. I insult you so many times, but yeah. you, don't want, you don't want to accept my, mm, what I say. No, I guess we'll have to leave it at that. Mm. No, I guess we'll just have to leave it at that. Mm. I pray that you can understand. You know what I mean? We, we just saw a guy come out of a false doctrine, out of GCC. He just got converted. Hebrew is alright. Hebrew is alright. You, you heard of the movement? Hebrew is what? They believe that Jesus is black. Do you believe that? I heard that someone say like that. So he just got converted. He was the leader of the church in Daniel. He had a big church. There was about 120 people there. They were, doing, they were getting a lot of money and everything. At, at one stage, they had a lot of people. And God touched him, changed his life. He came out, church and Why? Because it's true. I can see you do this with a good heart. Huh? I can see you do this with a good time. Okay. Mm. You know what I mean? Even if people believe different things, you have a zeal for God. You have a zeal to understand God. The only thing I'm trying to say is... Well, I take also want to you show you, for you did answer to me many things too. Okay, what to you? Maybe, maybe you, you did. Maybe for, for, you, for, for you, for you, for you, you feel like, oh, Tim didn't answer to me. But I answer to answer to him everything. Yeah. Now what I'm thinking, I show many things. I answer to you everything, but you did the answer to me. Okay, praise the Lord. It's, it's people like this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. We'll leave it at that. Maybe you're right. I guess you know, we'll just have to agree to disagree. True. Sure. Hey, can I show you the one prophecy of a second coming Christ? Sure. 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 Anyway, you think about it, but this time when I say this one, when I say this one, uh, just uh, listen one time, okay? Matthew chapter 24, I just briefly explain to you. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, I know maybe you will have a different idea, but 3. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples in private terror, they say, When will this happen? And while you with a sign of your coming and end of the age? Jesus asked for, uh, the disciples asked Jesus, What is the sign of your coming? Verse 3. Disciples asked Jesus, What is the sign of your coming? They, he said many, many things. 
For you, if you refer to 32, yeah. Now learn this, this lesson 32. 32. 22. 32. 32. Can you read, please? 32. Yep. It says, from the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and put out its leaves, you know that summer is near. And then, next verse, yeah, 33 and 34. So also, when you when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Yeah, here it says, even when you see all these things, you know that he is near. Mm. So who is he here? Who is he here? Refer to. I'm not sure. Who. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Hold this page, Revelation chapter three. Yeah. I'll, I'll stay on this one. You, you get yeah. to. Revelation 3 verse 20. Revelation, 3, Revelation verse, what? 3 verse 20. I want to press the chapter show 3. You. Chapter 3 verse 20. Chapter 3 verse 20. 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens.